こうシュシュシュシュキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモンキャモン From up north and from the west country and beyond. We have about 150 goats at the sanctuary at the present time, with another 110 in foster homes around Kent and East Sussex. So, once a goat comes to Buttercups, we guarantee it's a good quality of life from there on. Lots of love and affection, as you can see. <laughs> I'm Alan Mac Elegant and I'm a lecturer at Queen Mary University of London. So the key bit was to determine if the goats that had suffered from former neglect actually recovered from that neglect. And of course you can't go to a goat or any other animal and ask it how it's feeling on a particular day. So you need some objective measure of actually determining uh, whether they're in a positive mood or a negative mood. And to do that you have to work with them in an experimental enclosure. So we had a setup where we had five corridors, a central corridor where the goat was released, and then five arms leading away from that corridor. So the key aspect of the study that allowed us to tell if a goat was in a positive or negative mood was to look at the speed at which they investigated a new corridor in our setup to see if they would find a food reward at the end of that corridor. So goats that are in a negative mood or state are more likely to move slowly and the goats that are quite positive and expect something positive to happen, they will rush along the corridor. That provides us with an objective measure of positive or negative mood in an animal. Actually, interestingly, we found a sex difference. It was actually the female goats that had suffered from more former neglect that were in a particularly good mood and they were the fastest to investigate these new corridors, see if there was a food reward. So, The most important thing from this study is the fact that we can show that the goats that have been rescued and actually treated well for several years actually fully recover from their former neglect. So that's really important because, of course, there are many animal rescue centers in the UK and worldwide. He came from up north, and when he was a month old, he had his tail cut off, his throat was cut. And he was thrown in a pond to drown. He, fortunately for him, he was found by a member of the public who rescued him, took him to the RSPCA, and they looked after him for a year. He was then rehomed and、uh, kept for a year, and then the RSPCA found that he was advertised in the paper for sale. They heard about buttercups and brought him down to us. So there we are. So we've called him lucky for being at buttercups. And some of them are kept in such terrible conditions, and they come here and they come into this lovely atmosphere of relaxation and love and companionship with the other goats. And it makes it all worthwhile. <laughs> Almost makes you want to cry. 